New and nine gang members from South America entering the U.S. mixed in with migrants seeking asylum. As our Yami Virheen investigates today, members of two gangs from Venezuela and Peru are now in the U.S. New York City. Police officers attacked Georgia. A nursing student killed. The suspects in these cases are believed to be Tren de Aragua, a violent Venezuelan gang who's now in the U.S. entering undetected due to no diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Venezuela with migrants who just come here to work. We also know and, and always have known that there's, as with any group of people, there's, there's bad actors mixed in there. And this week, we actually got some pretty uh, you know, eye-opening information on just how bad some of these actors are that are coming along with these groups. Two new gangs that have now been detected coming through the border. The Border Sheriff's Coalition, which meets several times a year, is now learning about Los Choneros from Ecuador and Los Hijos de Dios, a faction of Tren de Aragua based in Peru. Los Choneros is another, another group that comes to mind, and then Hijos de Dios. Uh, now, these are not, you know, uh, just regular run-of-the-mill little street gangs. These are not little, little kids off the street. Just last month, the U.S. Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control sanctioned Los Choneros, whom they say have ties to the Sinaloa cartel. These are organized crime, uh, big organizations, and their number one uh, things are, of course, violent crime. Uh, human trafficking, human sex trafficking is big among these groups, uh, but also narcotics uh, manufacture and uh, trafficking as well. The other gang or criminal organization detected and reported to border sheriffs is Los Hijos de Dios from Peru, a faction of the Tren de Aragua. They are particularly known for uh, trafficking, sex trafficking. Uh, that is one of their big things, but also sextortion. That's another way that they uh, they are known to make money is they extort people, put them in a sexually uh, uh, compromising way and into a situation and then extort money from them. The ability for law enforcement to identify all of these transnational gangs entering mixed in with migrants is key for law enforcement all over the U.S., including right here on Ground Zero, the Texas border. The activity here continues and, and historically has, has been the busiest station between El Paso to Del Rio, and that's about a 600 mile swath of border. Terrell County Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland worries about people who enter under the radar, like sometimes members of criminal organizations like Los Choneros and Los Hijos de Dios, whom they call getaways. What keeps you up at night knowing what you know? I don't sleep a lot because I'm out working. I, I've had the last two years, I've caught more illegals than I did the last 11 years. I work harder, I work about 100 times harder for about a quarter of the pay, but I would do it for free. And while the number of migrants traveling to the U.S. had gone down, that is about to start changing with a change in the weather. Fox SA sources with Senafront, the Panamanian agency in charge of Border Patrol, reported that just last month, 531 Venezuelans, 36 Ecuadorians, and 15 Peruvians crossed the border from Colombia to Panama through the Darien jungle. In March, a total of almost 37,000 migrants crossed that same border. But what is astounding is that between January and March, more than 100 and 10,000 migrants crossed through Panama, heading to the U.S. Yami Virgen, Fox SA. Yami, great work for a more in-depth look at the crisis at the border. Why don't you listen to Yami's award-winning podcast? It's available in English and Spanish wherever you listen to your favorite podcast.